kill light here and in this video we're going to replace the radiator hoses the thermostat and the coolant temperature sensor on this 2001 Mitsubishi Eclipse with the 2.4 liter four cylinder I am using the Acaso Brave 6 Plus for the video currently on the uh, tripod and I got a GoPro 8 uh, black that I'll have on the headband. Yes, I apologize for my styling and I'm hoping it'll give you an actual view of what I'm doing. I guess we'll find out. All right, you probably need a 10 mil to remove the battery, negative cable. We are going to go ahead and just remove the whole battery because it just makes it easier. Hope you got the code for your stock radio if you're running the stock radio. <laughs> While you got the battery out, you might as well check the water level, etc. This one is from 2012. Uh, 12. It's pretty impressive. I tested it the other day and it passed. Okay, careful pulling your battery out. You don't drop it or hurt yourself, which reminds me. So this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is what I do and it works for me, but it may or may not work for you. Unplug that. That'll loosen that. We're gonna need a, probably a 10. Drop it. You don't have to take that all the way off, just loosen it well. Got another one back here. So if, it's, if they've not been off in a while, just kind of twist them a little. They'll come off that throttle body. This has been loosened. Okay, squeeze from the sides. I'm gonna hit it with just a touch of WD-40. Now, start pushing from this side. If you pull it, you're just making this tighter. And this, ooh. See how it's coming off? There. Now we'll just pull this out of the way. I wanna go ahead and get this. So that is broken off. That, oh, that, see, it, that part right there, that breaks all the time. It's like they're always broken. Remember where your screws and bolts go? I am going to remove, remove this. Uh, it's just falling apart. Right there, that's your temperature sensor. You'll notice, got a big bucket underneath. I did not jack the car up. It is not jacked up. You can jack yours up if you wish. I am turning it counterclockwise. And you see it's starting to come out. 
now I'm going to take the radiator cap off. That's going to allow it to come out faster. That should do it. We'll let it drain. I'm hoping you're seeing this. While that's draining, I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamps on the upper radiator hose. I have no doubt, and you should have no doubt also, that it's going to make a mess. So what you want to do here, in here, you're going to take, grab them, and twist. This one is plastic. Be careful. Ah, these things just eat you up. All right. I told you, I told you we'd make a mess. So will it let us? There it goes. It broke loose. Look at all that corrosion. You're gonna want some rags. So this clip is just those friction type. And then you just gotta work them. That one's out. There. It's probably a little brittle. When you undo this one, even though you have drained the coolant, more is going to come out. Probably would have been easier from the bottom. Pull your clamp out. Hopefully you're seeing this. Twist, again, this is plastic. Okay, this one has had so much corrosion and stuff that it's really tight. All right, so rather than fight that while it's on the car, why don't we take the thermostat housing off? We have a new thermostat, 12. Trying to go gentle on this. Let me know in the comments if the camera on my head is working for you. Is that showing you what you need? Might want to clean that throttle body. Doesn't look bad, but it's probably been a long time. I don't remember what the how long ago it was. I have to look at my video and when I cleaned it. Yep. Don't drip on there, please. Here you can see the thermostat. There it goes. Yeah. Gonna, it's gonna leak and hopefully you have the correct one looks very different but it's same size should work this little thing here that is for bleed for uh, burping it making sure that air can get out of it Okay, we got kind of lucky in that this is really clean. That's really clean. Oh, that's nice. Go ahead and put this 
in here maybe. And it absolutely fits. Okay, here. I don't know if you can see where my thumb is. Push down on that and you squeeze and that will, that's how you remove it. Right there, squeeze, pull. And that's gonna open that up and that should be a 19. Big old half inch wrench, because that's the deep 19 that I had. Now, I, I probably could have got a 19 inch wrench actually in there, but nice and easy. I should have got my gloves while I was out there. So what I'm doing is I'm backing this out far enough where I can take the wrench off. I was hoping. Nope. Okay, we're going to see if we can loosen this up to get access to that darn sensor. In the back just a little. Sure you have this out of the way. Okay. Of course I turned it the wrong way. There we go. Try number two. Okay, it's loose. Pull that out. With fingers, loosen it up. It's a new one. Actually matches, same length, good. And it's already got the uh, sealant on the thread, so we're good there. So now we just screw this in. Not only does it have to be a 19 inch deep socket, it's gotta be a deep all the way in socket so that it will clear uh, the connector. So now, okay. Gently, just start screwing it in. You want it snug. This ended up being at a totally different place to plug it in. Okay, but that's plugged in. Okay, I'm gonna work on that off camera. Here's the thermostat housing. This was all corroded, which caused a bunch in here, which pushes this out, which spreads this out so that you can't really get it off. What I ended up doing is cutting a bunch. So this was here, this was here. I cut. I can show you. Of course, it's all smushed up now, but this was in here, like so, and around here, and I cut it around, careful not to damage the housing with the razor blade. Took this, and I 
went like this, and I this part I pushed in and started twisting. And that was able to enough where I could work it, finally got it to pop off. You can see I had split it and everything to get the as much corrosion out as I could. That left a bunch of corrosion here. Taking a screwdriver. This is what I did. Don't ruin yours. Don't push too hard. Start doing that. Start clearing around the edges. Don't cut into it. Just try to scrape it off right here. I then took some fine sandpaper, wet dry in my case, and went around the edge and got and cleaned this up. It's not perfect, but hopefully it'll be enough. The other thing I did, this is the old one, here's the new one, this is that piece that was right here, and I used, sprayed a little bit of, uh, I used WD-40, sprayed it, and then slid this on the end and just, and literally had to spin it all the way to here. The bleed hole on the top. Bolt started. What you want to do with these bring them in a little at a time at the same time. Snug it up. Ugh. Let yourself slip on the coolant that's on your floor and you bust your face. This is just aluminum. Clamps already on and hopefully facing the direction you want them. Feed this in here. Ha! Okay, I gotta turn them over. Careful of the wires here. And it's going to come right up to where on the housing it's got that little piece that sticks out. That was real close, but not quite. Try to get the bottom one on. It should go right on, it's just in the plastic. Bottom hose is on. Don't forget to move your clamps. So I got the clamp on the top one, and I'll just tell you the trick to using these spring clamps. W D 40. Okay, I use W D 40. I'm sure any kind of lubricant would work. I'm gonna go ahead and close the pepcock. Guess what? It was counterclockwise to open it. It must be clockwise to turn it back. Close it. Ow, that really hurt. Mmm, that snapped on my pinky. Any luck with, better luck with these? Not really. 
Spring clamps. Yeah. Wow. Get it started. Move it tighter. And there. I try, I try to put it right kind of in the middle. That needs to go just a little farther. There. Just past that, but not on the end. Okay. There. We're done. Nah, not quite. I know what you're thinking. What's this gonna do? <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull up on this a little bit so that it's up against, and then I'm gonna tighten that. Those are tens. And it just pushed it down, figures. Okay, so what am I gonna do with that? Well, I will tell you, probably nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and snug the bolt. I snug the bolt. This is just, if this becomes an issue, I will zip tie it like so. I don't think it will be. I think it'll be fine. So there was four bolt holding the battery tray. I've put the air box intake back here. That'll move. So now we're gonna like so. This is in place. For a 20 year old car, some of this stuff is still in good shape. Tighten this back up. With these, just get them tight, snug. You don't have to have too much pressure on them. I definitely need to clean this some other time. I did check the battery. It was good on water. And here again, snug. Do not crush your battery. I'm gonna leave the battery, the negative terminal off until we are ready to start it. So, double check everything. Make sure you got everything connected and snugged up. I have some, happens to be Prestone. All vehicles, all, all vehicles makes models years. Concentrate, just add water. So generally speaking, you want to go about 50-50. So Pepcock's closed, hoses are all connected. Start pouring this in slowly and listen for leaks. If you know how much yours holds, you'll have some idea of how much to put in. So mine's still to there. I st It'll still have some in from the 
that didn't come out that's in the engine. So with the light to my left, finger, still not quite halfway of the first gallon. This one's dark, but I can still use the same trick. I'm about halfway. There it goes. Hope the hood doesn't fall on my head. Now one trick you can do, if you raise the front end, that puts the radiator higher than the engine, and that tends to, the uh, air will tend to come up. Yeah, I knew there was something missing. It wouldn't have hurt. It won't hurt, so I'm gonna wait and I'll put this on once I've checked everything, just in case I gotta reach down in there. So this clamp is bigger for whatever reason than that. So what I have is a little piece of, uh, I think it was a nail. And I just put it in the side in order to add enough width for it to have good contact. I need to replace it. So I have started the vehicle. Garage door is open i got a fan hopefully sucking the exhaust out the heater the heat is on so that the coolant is circulating through heater core you don't have to have the fan on it doesn't matter 191,380 miles woohoo I'm gonna to try to add these in, I'm gonna to try to add more of this. By the way, you can squeeze these to help get some air out. Watch the fan. So there's no nothing in this hose yet because the thermostat's closed. You just got that little bleeder. So it's not letting a whole lot through. And watch that belt. Now we put a gallon in initially. So I dried this off as much as I could. Hoping that if there is are any leaks, we'll be able to see them. I want to get some Feel some warm air coming out here. Radiator's warm. Okay, the fan just, both fans just kicked on. All right, it took a while. Water's, it's finally, coolant level is finally dropping. That's almost full. I'm gonna just add a little bit more, spilling half of it. All right, I'm gonna go take it for a short drive. Make sure it doesn't overheat or anything. If it is, if there's air, there shouldn't be a whole lot of air because of the uh, little air bleeder in the that I put at the top of that thermostat. But if there is, it can cause it to overheat. So you gotta watch your temperature gauge. Don't remove this when it's hot. And I will check for leaks, but I think it looks to me like we're good. After I've driven it, parked it, it's cooled down. 
I'll check the level, but it has this here that it can pull uh, coolant from. So I just got back from a long drive, pretty long drive, a good 15 minute drive, keeping my eye out on the uh, temperature gauge. Stayed right in the middle the whole time. We're good. No, no. I came back, double checked everything, checked for leaks. Everything's looking good. Alright, hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment. And I got a big mess to clean up. Good luck with yours.